if we look to the key challenges in interventional in electrophysiology of the future, it's mainly on substrate-based arrhythmias. It's mainly on atrial fibrillation and atrial fibrillation-related arrhythmias like left atrial microventral tachycardias, and it is on ventricular tachycardia in the uh, presence of structural heart disease. Don't get me wrong, I believe that electrograms, catheter manipulation and interpretation of electrograms will, uh, will still be important in the electrophysiology uh, of the future in an MRI. But the key difference is to gain benefits from the additional and unique information that only MRI technology can give you in order to support the procedure. The ability of MRI to describe tissue, to visualize tissue, to measure tissue, of course opens the hope for us to see lesions, to measure them and to correlate them to long-term outcome. The questions are what is the best scanning sequence, which, um, which uh, is a sequence that ultimately gives us a lesion that we want to see. And interesting work has been published during the last couple of months on these aspects, there are sequences actually that can tell us the size of the ultimate lesion even on the long run and this is really fascinating.